Well, good morning. I hope you're doing well. We're back in against the storm, and since last time, a very kind viewer left me a comment with a lot of tips. Some things I didn't know, some things I hadn't thought of. So, one of the very first things for early on, he says you can pick three buildings, and looking for a way to make lumber, flour, and a building that cooks. Well, the rain mill makes flour. The lumber mill makes planks. Is, I'm assuming planks is lumber. I think we're going to go with the rain mill for the flour. All right. Now, one that cooks. Well, that would be the bakery because I can make biscuits and pie. And uh, what do we want for the last one? Let's see. Provisioner can also do flour. Barrels, packs of provisions. Clothier can make coats, water skins, and scrolls. Or the weaver can make fabric, training gear, and trade good packs. They all use clearance water. Hmm. I'm not sure which one to get. I'm going to go with the Provisioner. Or maybe I should go with the Weaver. This fabric sounds like it would be useful too. No, we'll go with the Weaver because we do have already something that can make flour. Alright, so you click on the hearth. Now I can see the area of influence for the hearth. And I want to start with Woodcutter's Camp, which I'm going to place here. Okay. Now, something else he pointed out is if you hit, if you're like, I have that. Okay. So if I hit shift, I get a smaller marker, which means I can better control what trees. I'm going to chop down. So I can be very specific. And just chop down only what I need. Alright. Keep everything as centralized as possible. Okay. That makes sense, and I do try to do that. What we got here? Root deposit. Probably want that. So a small forager's camp would be very good too. That would be that. All right. Now this, do we have anybody assigned here? We do. There is one lo lizard working here. And apparently lizards are, are, are more than happy to work at the hearth because they like heat. Which kind of makes sense. I won't lie. That, that, that makes a lot of sense. Alright, so we have a woodcutter's camp. And we have one beaver, so I'm going to put that beaver to work there. And we'll fill out the rest of that with lizards. And we want... Now, we have one that can still go to work for us, and no houses. We definitely want housing. He said that I will not run into this now, but later on, if anybody who is unhoused will uh, die, or has a 50% chance of dying. So that's a pretty high chance of dying. And what did we get? Uh, hostility and forest mysteries. You start each settlement with the hostility of the forest at zero. As your town grows, this hostility will slowly increase when you perform certain actions, like discovering glades, welcoming visitors, or assigning new woodcutters. Some actions can lower the hostility of the forest, like building additional hearths or letting the queen's impatience grow. With each hostility level, a negative resolve penalty is applied to all villagers, and new forest mysteries can become active. Forest mysteries are generated at the start of each game based on the map's difficulty and biome. Each effect is only active during its corresponding season. 
Positive effects occur during drizzle, while negative ones are active during the storm. Some effects are simple modifiers that influence production, reduce speed, or destroy buildings, but some are based on your villagers' needs. For example, hailstorm can kill villagers during the storm, but if they have a home, they'll be safe. All right. During especially hard times, you can sacrifice additional goods in the hoard for temporary gain positive effects. Each fuel type grants different boons, like increasing your production speed, decreasing hostility, etc. To do this, select the hoard, navigate to the sacrifice panel, and choose the resource you want to burn. The selected goods will be taken from your warehouse at a rate of one every few seconds. You can control how much will be consumed by using the arrow buttons. The more you sacrifice, the stronger a given bonus becomes. Okay, I did not know that. Okay, I need to choose a cornerstone. You can either choose increasing the production speed of copper bars, crystallized dew, and all recipes that use metal ingots by 33%, or a useful mill upgrade, gain free oil for every 10 flour produced. I think we're going to go with the small press. I do believe one of the buildings I got was a rain mill. So that would be an upgrade for that. At least I hope. Oh, our first set of orders. All right. One harvester camp and one stone cutter camp. Or deliver 25 storm water. Um, hold on. Harvester camp. Stone cutters camp. I wanted to make sure I could make those before I commit it to anything. All right. We want that cray the clay and the reeds so uh, i'll take the first one stone cutter camp not that we necessarily have anything to cut so let's actually start with the harvester camp right yeah let's start with the harvester camp at least the harvester camp will be useful right off the bat. All right, so there's that. And pause it for a second, look around. Another thing that he pointed out was that uh, if the hostility of the force is getting too high or starting to get high, one way to lower it quickly is to stop all logging. Because logging is a big reason for the hostility. Which, now that I think of it, makes a lot of sense. <laughs> I'm kind of surprised I didn't think of that sooner myself. Oh, and he also said if I click on a message that says the camp is out of a resource, it will take me directly to the camp, so I don't have to fumble around looking for something again. So that's an, going to be another very useful one. It, but there were, I mean, there's like a full page of helpful tips, and I barely even scratched the surface. Now, while we're thinking about it, decorations. We could make a park. We could make fence, fences, barrels. Benches are probably the easiest one at the moment. So we'll put... There, two in front of the hearth to start. Okay, what do we got here? Brain pump drill. One of the brass orders, curious little inventions, it appears to be broken. Now, do I have... Looks like I might have the tools for this. We 
pro probably will want to fix that. Of course, we got... We'll have to take... We're gonna have to take from, uh... Oh! Shoot. Okay. I don't know where I'm going to take from. Okay, we can take one from here. Okay. Alright. And... Uh, we'll put you here. We'll put you here. And please go investigate that. Please and I can go investigate that. And it looks like we have some eggs. So we'll definitely want. I think that's a trapper's camp. Yeah, that's a trapper's camp. Yes, I know. There are no free workers. Blah, blah, blah. Well, we got to go check this out. What? what? Idling? Excuse me. What are you hi idling for? Get to work. Are you taking a break? I just asked you to go do this. It, it's not like... <laughs> Annoying. Okay, let's move this over. Well, fine. Y'all don't want to do it. Okay. Now, hold on. Because I guess the beaver was still busy. There we go. See if I can get them to do something with that now. I know I still need a stone cutter camp. And I finally have a reason to have one. So we're gonna put that here. Do we have anybody we can put over here at the moment? One. Did that blizzard assign itself to the harvester camp? Because I know I didn't put it there. And it's like they don't want to come out here and do this thing. Just really annoying. All right, you know what, y'all? Everybody stop. Everybody stop. Everything they're doing. Everybody stop. Everything they're doing. Everybody stop. Everything they're doing. Now. Two of you blizzards, we're gonna go out here and you go check that out. Oh, that was a lightning strike. Okay. 
I guess I'll leave that lizard working because at least they're working. <gasps> Ooh, that came awful close to hitting my lizard. I do not like it. I do not like it at all. Going to rest, idling. Really? Again? Okay, the stonecutter camp is up, though. Fine, I will put the beaver back to work. Okay, so I'm going to cut right through. And then once we've cut through, we can fully ex kind of clear in between these two spots and have ourselves a nice open bit of land there. Oh, choose a cornerstone. New stones are newcomers are waiting. Okay, cornerstone. Family gratitude. Relatives of your villagers send gifts for treating their family members well. Get forty water skins for every full reputation point obtained through high resolve. The forest receipts as heavily heavily guarded trade caravans pour into the settlement. Hostility is reduced by fifteen points every time you sell goods worth thirty amber. The complex food needs grant one less resolve point. gonna go with family gratitude I mean they were both kind of really useful now I did see we have new villagers two beaver or two humans and a lizard we could really use a beaver but Oh, I don't even have a crude workstation, do I? We'll go with the beaver. So I need to build another house. I also need to put some beaver to work here. And I am actually going to have you cut that. Pretty, but it is totally in the way. Oh, we've opened this. What do we got? Small encampment. Welcome new people. I most certainly can. I will get one beaver and one lizard. Oh, but I got to get somebody to do that. All right. So, take a beaver off the job. I will... Uh, take this lizard off the job. Now, y'all are going to go greet these lovely people and get them to join us. Oh, our first task is complete. Now, the trading post and deliver five amber. Pass. We'll, we'll take this one. And the reason is that Another tip I was given was to put down paths because paths are very important. And I had thought they were just mainly decorative, but it turns out they are not. Oh, 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 oh. Definitely want the farm. So we got that. Before we do anything else, let's put a path down. We're going to put there we go.
There we go. Now we have some path going in. Well, we will as soon as we have some people to do it. Why are these guys not working? That's what I want to know. It just says idling. Oh, we don't... Wait, wait. Do we... Can we, uh... Pick something else for that? Hold on. Yes, we can. Now. There we go. That means that over here I was missing what I needed, too. Oh, we don't have anything that we can use. Oh, wait, over here. Yes, we do. We have two parts. Okay. Now they'll work. See? I'm still learning. Well, this is a nice blade. It's got a lot of uh, clay in it. I believe that's all clay. Ah. Well, what do y'all think? Is it salvageable? <laughs> okay, we just got two new members. We do need a couple more houses. So, let's look. We could put a house or two here still close enough to the hard. There we go. That should be just enough for the newcomers. Now let them work on that. We'll go ahead and have y'all cut that little batch there. Open that up a little more. Let me let the uh, third beaver do whatever he's doing at the moment. Oh, here comes thunderstorms again. Get those houses built. Get those houses built. Speed that up a little. Oh, that's right. I can deliver that. <laughs> Good thing I remembered. Now, complete any two glide events. Deliver 15 eggs. We're going to go with the Glade events. All right. These houses are almost done. There we go. And we saw, no, we have no homeless. Now, we put a lizard to work here. We'll put a lizard to work here. And not ideal to only have them half staffed, but for the moment, it will have to do. Because I do still need to put down a trapper camp. Put you here? I can put you here. Okay. Get some food production up. Now, after they're done clearing this little bit here, which it looks like they are mostly done with, I'll have them clear those too. Maybe clear.
clear those two. Open that up a little bit more. Clear that one there. I think they're close enough for all yeah, they're close enough for all that. Okay. Put a, a lizard there. And do we have anywhere that looks like farmland? Not yet. We will want to farm, but not yet. Okay, what's our next cornerstone lighting? Leather work. Oh, that's a building. Okay, coal, bricks, and jerky, water skin, fabric, and pigment, planks, tools, and packs of luxury goods. That's a hard choice because I really want something that'll make the jerky. But, hold on. Yeah, the bakery won't make make it. I don't think I have anything that will. I, we can make a... Oh, yeah, we need the, that. The crude workstation. We need to make the rain mill. Well, we will when we need when we get the farm. So we don't have anything that can make the jerky. And jerky, if I remember right, is something that the lizards really like. Lizards are very resilient. Oh, wait, I can drag? Oh, I did not even know that. If I click on a species, and if there's one available, it'll let me drag it to a camp, and it'll show me all the open spaces. Now, that's something I did not know. I don't need to do that now, but that was kind of a really handy, handy find. Newcomers are waiting. Okay, okay, okay. Kiln or Carpenter? We really could use the planks, but we could also use that kiln. We're going to go with the carpenter because we do need the planks. Now. Cornerstone. Route delivery line. Three routes per minute. Peasant supplies. Receive three pack of provisions for every new villager. That route delivery line's probably pretty good, though. I mean, it'll give us, keep us in some food. More reliably than the pheasant supplies, I think. We're going to go with the root delivery. Now. Two humans, two beaver, or a human, a beaver, and, or a human, two beavers, and a lizard. Ten reeds, four fabric, or twenty reeds. We're going to go with two humans and two beaver. Okay, now we need a house again. Well, fortunately, we have some people to do that. We're going to put a shelter right here. And since we have a couple extra hands at the moment, I'm going to put a human here. Here. We'll put a second lizard here. Okay, we have somebody at the stone cutter. We really should move the woodcutter camp now. Put you over here. Now, before the queen gets too ticked off, we need some glade events. We need two of them to be specific. Okay. All right. I'm going to put you at a harvester camp. 
stone cutter or the forger. We're gonna put you with the forger. That seems to be something humans are good at. That's the trapper camp. Okay, the stone cutter camp. We kind of should move it a little bit. Move it a little more over this way. There we go. We'll go ahead and put down a little more path, too. There we go. I know the queen's mad. She's going to have to hold her horses. I'm learning. What is... Oh. I was going to say, what's that? That's a human. But when they're bent over like that, they look like giant beetles. <laughs> it kind of spooks me every single time. And while we're thinking about it, put a little teeny tiny part right there. So that'll give us another decoration. <gasps> oh, we have eggs here. Oh, lots of eggs. A mis mystical stone monument. Unknown runes are carved all over its surface. So we can make an offering. We... I don't think we want to use all our resin on that. What would, we, what would we get in return? Hold on. Decreases hostility by 10 points and increases the ancient hearth resistant by a hundred. Okay, maybe we do want to uh, use some resin to do that. That sounds like it is probably very, very important. And you will need to move again. Put you right here. And I'll have you cut through this way. That should be just enough. How's the... Okay. 15 charges left on that. Now what else could we use? We have enough houses at the moment. I don't think I have anything for the herbalist yet. No. So we're not building the herbalist. We should... Nope, we still can't... Oh, wait a second. Yeah, no, we can't put down the farm yet. We don't have any fertile land. Bakery? Not sure that's useful unless I had... Uh... Flower. <gasps> ah, fertile land. Well, <laughs> asking you shall receive. Let me go ahead and put a path through here. There we go. We have food and water skins. And we just need a little bit of stone, which I think we have. We do. Okay. We have the stone. We're going to send a couple beaver to investigate that. And I guess we can put some more path down this way because we know we're going to end up with a farm out here. There. Ooh, this is active. Passive effect. Making the right offering at the obelisk reduces hostility by 10 and increases the ancient hearth resistant by 100. Oh, we can move it? Okay. 
and put it right there for now. Okay, choose another cornerstone. That's over here. Ancient pact. The cost of knowledge can be very high. You can see the content of undiscovered glades, but discovering dangerous or forbidden glades kills one villager. Or rich glades. Newly discovered resources nodes have more charges. Oh, hi. I will take that. <laughs> Not that it's going to help us at this spot, but that means future spots it will help. Okay, we can deliver that one. And what's our next one going to be? Deliver coal and pack building materials or packs of provisions. Um, okay, rain mill can produce the packs of building materials. Do I have a kiln or a mine? under production. I could put down a mine if I had the brick. Okay, I do not have the brick for it. Oh, wait. All right, 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 right. Okay. <laughs> Kiln, a mine, or a brick oven. Nope. Nope. But. I think we already have something that can produce flour. We don't have anything, I don't think, that can produce the incense. And we really kind of want that jerky, or the skewers, for the lizards. We're going to go with the smokehouse. Alright, so... That's right, we were trying to pick one of these. Oh, it shows me which ones I can make. The ones in blue are the ones I can make. So I guess we will go with... Hold on. Before I decide, can I put the mine down? That's going to make my decision for me. I still can't put it down. All right, makeshift trade post. I can make that. So we'll put that down. I guess we got to go with the packs of provisions because we, I know for certain we can make that. It looks like they're done here. So obviously I am putting in a farm. And we're going to put in a little bit more road to extend it out. There we go. And now what did we want? Packs of provisions, right? Yes.
Oh, wait. No, no, no. Cancel that. Cancel that one. We want this one. Um, go with the eggs for this. Oh, okay. All right. So, tax of provisions are top priority. I think that's what that did. Lower priority goods will be produced only after high priority recipes reach their limit. So that should be the highest priority. If I'm thinking, if I'm seeing that right. Okay, we need to really want two humans here. Do I have a human at, oh, that's Beaver. Y'all don't have anything. I guess y'all don't have anything for the moment. Which means I can take one of you off of this and put you over at the farm. And while I'm thinking about it, I'm the complete doofus. I need to put down some farmland. There we go. Hey. Can we finish this yet? Yes, we did. Oh my goodness, we got something done in record time. Okay, you, I do have a place to move you. You will go work right there. And you, the harvester camp, I move you anywhere. All right, not yet. All right, I'll leave you there for the moment. All right, what do we got? Jerky. Oh, yeah, I don't think we can do that one. Need for jerky fulfilled, have at least boulders. Eight planks, six bricks, and six fabric. Oh, they're both pretty hard choices. Okay, I'm going with the jerky. I don't think we can do it, but I'm going to try. Oh, um, 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 um. Okay, y'all have 25 roots. Y'all have 10 vegetables, five wreaths, and five eggs. I got to go with the roots. Okay. Oh, we need more houses. Of course we do. Because of course we do. So we want to put down two, maybe three. Okay. Well, I don't know if we're doing any better, but thanks to the kind viewer, I at least understand a little better what's going on. And I will have to read over his notes a few times to see what I can learn. Oh, what do we want? Regular trapper's camp. The herb garden. Or the forager's camp. If I want one of the advanced camps, I'm going to go with the herb garden. Because now then we can grow roots and herbs. The other ones can only collect. This one can grow. All right. So, yeah, I may not do much better this time, but at least I'm starting to understand things a little better. The next time, well, we'll see what happens then. And until then, bye for now.